Yo, what up? E Mecca here. Real quick, I want to just define success versus unsuccess. Successful versus unsuccessful. Let's see what category you fit in. Or uh, if you're not an entrepreneur, wherever it is that you're working, you're working for somebody, you probably have a boss, a manager, a supervisor. But on, above them, there's an owner to the building, to the company, whether it's the CEO or whoever it is owns that company for wherever it is that you work. You ever ask yourself why you are where you are in that company and why the CEO is where he is? There's a good reason. The reason is that coming up in life, there are times where we said no to something that we know we should have said, said yes to. Or we said yes to something that we should have said no to. And we made a lot of those decisions coming up. And the results of that is where we are now. Now, the people that are at the top, the CEOs of the company, the person who owns the company that you work for, that person probably, most likely, said yes during the times where they should have or were supposed to say yes, and they say no during the times when they were supposed to say no. Let me give some examples. I know this food will make me gain weight. We all know that. Both successful and unsuccess unsuccessful people know that. But one of them is going to not eat it. The other one is going to say, I know this helps me to gain weight, but I'm still going to eat it. Which one are you? What type of person are you? Do you know something causes something? A type of reaction that you wouldn't want, but you do it anyway? Or there's something that you probably should do, and you know if you do it, you'll get these results, but you don't do it? So those people that are at the top were people that, when they were faced with those questions and those challenges of whether they should do something, and they knew that it was the thing to do, they did it. And if they knew there was something wasn't the thing to do, they didn't do it. So what category do you fall into? But ultimately, in the beginning, you have to do what you hate. Ultimately, in the beginning, you have to do a lot of th the things that you don't want to do. That's just how it is. I don't like going to the gym. I don't like working out. I'm not going to lie. Um, I dread it sometimes. I dread even driving up to the gym, perspiring, pushing, feeling pain. I don't like that. I don't enjoy it. But I do it because I want the results. So in the beginning, you're going to have to do things that you hate things that you don't want, things that are not comfortable, things that are not convenient, and you're going to have to do them anyway, because that's what's going to make you move forward in the game. Because ultimately, if you're an employee, the harder you work, the more money the person at the top makes. So how can we, how can we switch that? How can we switch that so that you could be at the top? You could be at a place where ultimately you get to make the decisions and there'll be other people working for you. How do you get to that place? Think about it. Do those things that you know you need to do. Just get them done. And success awaits you. Peace.